This is my work laptop. I think it's the perfect work laptop, the perfect hybrid laptop. Let me give you kind of a closer look at some of the things I like and how well it performs in different situations. One thing I really like about it is it does have this little red nubbin thing. I don't know what to call this, but I don't like using a trackpad. I like using this, so that works out well for me. The trackpad, however, is very nice. It's not your Mac level trackpad, but it actually comes somewhat close. It's very easy to use, clicks very well well, right clicks very well, does nice two finger scrolling, nice three finger opening windows. It does have a numpad. The power button is also a fingerprint reader. You've got a cover for the webcam here, and then this scans your face so you can log in with facial recognition. Overall typing on the keys is very nice and quiet. I like the keyboard. Keyboard's nice, the trackpad's nice. From a hardware perspective, I'm really happy with this. This even does have an ethernet port. You've got two USB-C, you've got your HDMI, USB-A, and audio. Over here you have another USB-A, so not a whole lot of ports, but generally you'll plug into a dock or hub using this USB-C. Before I show the performance on this, go ahead and look at the specs on the screen. Obviously you can kind of configure this to how you want, but this is how I've got mine configured. Let's start with some graphics. Let's open some things in Blender. It is very smooth, running just fine. Let's go ahead and close this out. This scene is a bit more graphics intense. This is actually still working pretty well pretty smooth a large scene here and this is a huge scene I would expect to be quite choppy and indeed it is there is a significant lag uh, more or less what I would expect this is a spreadsheet with about half a million rows and I'm just scrolling through it it's smooth scrolling so it loaded well and it's doing pretty good good performance with spreadsheets so we've got the GIMP open here let's try out some raster graphics uh everything is smooth so far no issues painting zooming in and out everything is very smooth more or less what i would expect with this here i've got inkscape open this is vector graphics we've got this little nintendo paddle let's ungroup things and see how well it performs when we move things around there's a little bit lag it's not too bad doing pretty well let's try some other files all right we've got some splash screens lots going on here let's zoom in zooming in and out is pretty snappy you can see a little bit of lag showing up let's ungroup some things we're starting to see a little bit of lag but still completely usable and not not too bad for how much is going on in this drawing this is completely usable let's try some raw photo editing this is pretty responsive actually not too bad yeah overall when i make edits it's pretty responsive not a huge lag going on so photo editing would work really quite well in this actually let's try some games we've got the talos principle if you look at the top right you can see the frames per second as i'm walking you can see we're getting close to 100 frames per second so not bad at all for this older game let's try out this benchmark and again, looking at the top right, we're running at about 50 frames per second. So not amazing, but not bad. So a bit smoother at just around 60 frames per second. Rocket League here, you can see we're running at just over 80 frames per second. So really quite smooth for a game like Rocket League. Not bad. All right, so here is why I like this computer so much. This is a business laptop. It's a work computer. It's not a gaming computer, though you can use it for gaming. It's not amazing with with graphics but it does really well where this really shines is with the cpu and the ram it allows you to multitask like crazy you can have every program up in the world that you want on this and everything is still going to run smooth you can have a million browser tabs open because i know you already do switching from task to task on this thing is no issue at all doing really large spreadsheets with like a half a million rows that's not a problem on this computer for my full-time job i do it so part of that that is testing out computers like this, running it through all the tests, making sure nothing breaks, making sure there's nothing weird about it. And I've been so happy with this computer because I don't ever have to work on it. It doesn't break down, there's no issues, nothing stops working on this thing. It just works like it should. It's very powerful, very smooth, zero maintenance. The reason I think this is so perfect in a business environment is it can work for so many different things. This can work well in any department, even for developers this works fantastically well, works so smooth, so nice. I highly recommend this computer.